Hi, I'm Nurse Anissa and I work with Dr. Perry Gedelovich. Today we will go through the consent of uh, the medial thigh lift. The medial thigh lift could be done under general anesthesia or under local anesthesia and it all depends on what was discussed during the consultation with Dr. Perry. The risk associated with general anesthesia would be um, an allergic reaction. In case that we give you a medication you've never had in the past, we do have medication to counter the allergy. Uh, most common uh, reaction after a general anesthesia would be nausea and vomiting, and we will give you medication to counter this as well. Uh, another risk that is not as common would be a deep vein thrombosis, so a blood clot in your leg, and to avoid this, we will send you a prescription of a compression socks directly to your pharmacy, and it's important to bring them with you the day of the procedure, and also uh, to keep them on for a couple of days after the procedure. Milder complication could be a sore throat because of the intubation and uh, numbness of the hand because of the IV that will be put in your hand. Risk associated with the local anesthesia would be an allergic reaction. Again, we have medication to counter it. And pain with the injection. So she will inject the area that she will remove the skin and that could be uncomfortable but not painful. Um, and another risk associated with the local anesthesia would be um, palpitation. So this is caused with the epinephrine that is in the medication of the numbing pr process. So with the medial thigh lift, the risk associated would be a bleeding or a hematoma. It is normal to have bruising, it is normal to be swollen, but if ever you have one thigh that is bigger than the other, purple-ish color and more painful than the other, it's super important to contact us with the emergency line that is at the bottom of your post-op document. Um, other risk would be an infection. We give you medication, antibiotic uh, to take for one week. Um, delay of healing and um, a wound delays would be uh, caused because of heat. So it's important because this area, there's a lot of tension. It's important to avoid being in a humid or hot place and it's important for one month to avoid, avoid any physical activities. Um, risk associated would be also visible scar, uh, depending on uh, where the scar will be, whether it's in your groin or going all the way to your knee, uh, it's important to cover it as much as possible to avoid the sun for one year. Um, there's other uh, risk also of recurrence of skin laxity and that all depends on your quality of your skin or depending on your age and uh, just know that there is also a possibility of um, doing a procedure of correction if ever that happens.